Hey friends, today at four o'clock Universal Studios City Walk is gonna open and we are lined up outside right now. It is three o'clock and so far there's a pretty big gathering happening here. I'm excited. Let's go do this. As you can see right here is the main entrance and they have these uh, roadblocks right here and the cars are just lining up here going all the way back into the road. I think they're eventually going to have to either move the road box or tell people they have to leave because it's literally backing up into the traffic a little bit. So we'll just see what happens, you know? I decided to come sit back in the car and get a little AC and more and more people are showing up. I've only been here for probably I'd say about 10 minutes. Um, I think that they're going to take the roadblocks down around 3.30 ish and let us park and then you know we'll go from there. I don't know what else to expect but I am going to be bringing in uh, my hand sanitizer with me. I'll carry it with me. Uh, I have a bag full of masks plus my Mickey mask that I'm going to carry around too. And in, in case I see anybody that doesn't have any, because Universal is requiring you to wear the mask, uh, I'll give them out. I'll give you know anybody who needs a mask if they want to go in. I don't know. I'm, I, I just think others. I'm like, oh, I'll just bring a couple extra. <laughs> They're blasting the Universal theme song. <laughs> wow, people are really excited to get back to the parks. Oh, now we got Jurassic Park. And we're at the wrong spot. So we're moving. Oh, we're moving. Yep, we were all lined up at the wrong spot. Oh, look at it. Here we are. The moving walkway. Oh boy, there it is. We're here. <laughs> Universal awaits us. All right, they're opening up the gates. It is 3.30, exact, like I thought. Wow, that's so awesome. Oh, look at, and it's free to park today, so there's gonna be no one here. I thought it would be nice if they did the temperature checks here, but I guess not. And we are in the garage. Vincent Vision's here. Jackie's super enthused. Here's some Emporium. Wow. Look. Ooh, here we go already. Theme parks are closed. City Walk is open. And look at this. Social distancing stickers all in place right here. How cool is that? This is where you're going to line up. And I'm guessing we're doing temperature checks up there maybe. Everybody is using their little markers appropriately. Look at that. I think they're going to have to add more markers though. Yeah, they're going to have to add more in the back end there. Oh, we got the okay to go. Woo! And I can see a team member up there sanitizing the handrails. That's a good sign right there. Oh, yep, right here. This is the temperature checks. Oh, I'm very excited. All right, it's time to get my temperature checked. Oh, I'm ready. Thank you. I'm good. That's really cool that they're doing the temperature checks right before the security. So you're inside the garage still. That's a really good location for that. Oh boy. I'm so excited to ride the moving walkway. <laughs> Oh, look at this. And look at this right here. Sanitizing the handrails. Fantastic. Thank you. Security was a breeze. I don't think they're doing any additional security settings. In fact, they might do less because they don't want to have any close contact with your personal belongings. Oh, we're taking that one. Moving walkway of our own, Jackie. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Here we come. There it is. Wow, so much space. This is fantastic. Look at this. Ooh, and we have somebody on the intercom giving us directions and talking to us about the actual restrictions. Oh yeah, they're right up there. 
sounds like they're having a little celebration up on the second level. Look at that. The Universal Studios store is open. I want to go in and see if they have any face masks for sale in here. Face coverings, one for six, <laughs> and then also three for 15. Hand sanitizer for $3. I don't think they're Universal themed though. Oh man, I really wanted a Harry Potter one. So they don't have any themed face mask coverings, but it's still very generous and very good of them to actually sell them here. And they're pretty decent quality ones, I have to say. I couldn't resist. I had to get myself a Universal Orlando sanitizer. I think they sell these like normally anyway, but I just needed to get one anyway. A lot of people are rushing around to check out what's new and what's happening. But actually, I just want to go stare at the Universal Globe and get a beer and just relax. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> and there she is. Beautiful. It is just so good to see that Universal Studios globe. It makes me so happy. Now we're gonna actually go take a peek on the inside of the actual archway. Soon. This reminds me of like when I'm waiting for Halloween Horror Nights. <laughs> the wind literally just knocked down that gigantic metal barrier. Holy moly. Oh my gosh, that's We're backing away now. It made such a loud that. noise. <laughs> <was> so loud. <laughs> Moving along, it looks like the Hard Rock is closed and the Chocolate Emporium, but they do have an outdoor patio section. So eventually, I think they're going to open up. So many people here today. Many of vloggers, friends, bloggers. You got Prince Charming Dev, Ear to Ear, Tip of the Ears. You see Jackie, Tampa J, Disney Food Vlog. Just a good gathering of people coming out of hiding. As you can see, the walkways are pretty empty here. And there's lots of social distancing. Like, nobody's jumped up together. It's just, it's very convenient. So, apparently, Margaritaville is already at a two-hour wait. But luckily enough, we are going to go to the airport because I have some friends who have a table already. Look at that. Look at this. In the sand, even better. Oh, and everyone has their face mask off. Yes, that is so nice. It's really good that they're actually checking right here. Uh, so if you're going to eat, you can take your face mask off because you obviously you have to have your face mask off to eat. But once you actually leave, you have to have your face mask back on. Very limited seating over here. So like I said, it was really cool that Genevieve had some extra seats for us to come in. <laughs> well, it's first come first serve. So this is the last table. They just put you there probably. But look at this. It looks really cool. Thank you. Thank you. Don't worry, we're using a lot more than this. Just <laughs> to show you guys that we are sanitizing constantly. And here is the menu. And it is a disposable paper one, a little windy. Disposable silverware and paper plates. Look at that. Oh, and the cocktails are coming. Margarita time, baby. <laughs> wow. This is mango. This is mango? This will be mango, thank you, baby. Mango. Watermelon, strawberry. Wow. <laughs> and I'm free! Free falling! I decided on getting a land shark to celebrate this occasion and also some of Jimmy's Jam and Jambalaya. <laughs> the food is here and look at this. Nifty little to-go boxes. I like it. Uh, if I can get it open. Oh, there it is. 
thunder because of that jambalaya looks spectacular though. Oh boy. Jackie's got coconut shrimp, chips and guacamole. Genevieve's got some wings over there. And you got the veggie burger, right? Yeah, the Beyond Burger. Nice. Oh boy. I dropped a little rice there, but this is gonna be so good. jambalaya is absolutely amazing and it's very good and it's very wet i don't like dry jambalaya i like it to be a little wet very good spice wasn't too bad and the chicken the sausage all together oh i love it and i think we are all done with our dinner so mask on and we're gonna head out actually very cool sitting out here and it's really fortunate that we came over here instead of waiting for two hours for the inside because they had the same exact menu. Coming back out of Margaritaville and look at this. Social distancing is still pretty decent over here. Like no large groups. It doesn't seem overcrowded at all. And you have to remember usually this is a crowded area with people going into the parks. They have nowhere to go into the park. So this is like the busy part. I don't know if they're turning people away, but this is really good. This is very good. Oh my gosh, Yeah! <laughs> well, I think we're gonna have to pass on Voodoo Donuts. The line starts here, and then goes here, and then goes back there, and then eventually in. And it will be about an hour, he said. They do have mobile express pickup, but that's about 25 to 30 minutes. Now, I'm gonna go see if we can get behind the Hard Rock Cafe and see the Berlin Wall, or at least see the old Nickelodeon building. And this is the closest I've gotten to a roller coaster in two months. Look at that. There it is. The Berlin Wall, a piece of it. You know, whenever I think of the Berlin Wall, I think of David Hasselhoff. And I think that's going to do it for me today. I'm really impressed with the team members here. I've seen multiple people wiping down rails with sanitizer. They're very good and welcoming, saying, welcome back. We're happy to see you. I really enjoyed it. I'm happy to be back out here. I know a lot of people talk about how it's just a theme park, but it means a lot to me. It really does. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. And on the way out, nobody is waiting to come in. Nobody's lining up for security. And if you just wanted to do some quick universal shopping, you can always just come here, park in the parking garage. You don't have to go into City Walk. Get yourself a Jurassic Park shirt or an I Love Universal shirt.